Hello and welcome back to Oracle ERP BI Publisher Lab. In this lab, we would look at if else conditions and we would look at the choose choose uh, expression. So our objective is to familiarize with if else, xdufx if choose. Uh, but this time I'm assuming that the BA Publisher add-in is installed and is working correctly. Let's get started. The syntax is if the condition, you, you notice the, uh, the, the, the syntax and the end if. The same thing can be achieved by xdufx if the condition goes with inside, then the result, else, result 2. There's another way to do it through xxl if test, then the condition. Let's look at some examples. In the first example, I'm going to look for if department name not equal to null, then I will display the department name. Otherwise, I'm going to display nothing. Similarly, if the count is greater than 4, then do the thing. Or similarly, if the sum of if, if the sum of total price is greater than C, 100, um, if CD by price indicates uh, the root element is CD and the price is the element. So if the another example would be if the country is equal to UK, multiply the price by 1.6 1, 1. to convert to dollar. So you can see the expressions here. Let's try to do some uh, practical examples. Thank you. Before we start, let's look at our XML file. So we have uh, the main root is catalog. Under the root, we have uh, gartist as a child. Underneath the gartist, we have another root called cd, and the cd is repeating within the gartist. And if you notice, cd has a few elements, price, year, title, um, the category type is an attribute. So we're going to, we are going to start with our basic template. Let's load the data first. And let's run it. So let's look at the expression before we run it. So there is the for each for the outer um, root, then for each for the inner root, and it's displaying all the data. Let's run it. a straightforward output it shows the uh, artist and the, the the discs or CDs or uh, cassettes they released and you can see the surprise element and the ear element let's start using the uh, if conditions on it so in this example we are going to add uh, if the if the root row if it's a CD only then display we don't want to display any other records um, for this element. So let's start with adding the form uh, fields. I'm going to the my developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, go to um, more commands, customize button, and you can um, check this box, developer. So I'm going to insert the form fields. So I'm going to insert a form field here. And I'm going to add the if condition here. So if the category if the category type is equal to CD, so I'm going to add it here. So I'm going to say if. I'm going to give a different color for it. And of course the end bit here. So I'm going to insert another. I'm going to insert end it. And let's run it. Let's look at the code before we run it. The code looks like for each uh, artist, for each CD, if the category type is equal is not equal to ZD. So we want equal to ZD. Update. If it's equal to CD, display the elements. Otherwise, not. Let's look at it. 
So we can see that it's only displaying the series here. Let's look at uh, a few more examples. So in this example, we are going to say if the count of series, series is a root element. So if the count of series is greater than four, only then uh, display the uh, display the amounts or display the fields. So we have here we have five, here we have four. So if it's greater than four, which means we will only see Bob Dylan. So it's pretty. Uh, you can code the if um, if else if and if and if. Uh, within the developer uh, block uh, or text for field block or look directly type it in so let's look at the let's look at the uh, the fields first so it's for each artist then we are so if you, if you notice that the uh, if condition is not coming here so the if, the if immediately it comes off immediately after the for each so let's run it and see what happens so only Bob Dylan because um, the other the other uh, other CD group has only four. Let's do another example. Uh, similar to the other example that we had, here in this case we are going to sum up the uh, price within the CD element for each artist. And if it's greater than hundred, we would display the display the record. So in this case, um, CD is the root and price is the element. We're going to sum up the element, so it's ten. Now the twelve dollars, one dollar, ninety dollars, and it's another day. Definitely, this is going to be showing here, showing up here. Look at this one; it's a nine dollar. Let's run it. So you can see that the total is the other one doesn't have the totals. If you look at here, um, this one is showing up. The other one, the total never reaches that. Let's do another example. Then. So in this example, we are going to add uh, one more column called price in USD. So we're going to add price in USD, and we're going to say if the country if the country is equal to UK, we will multiply the price by 1.6. It's a simple exercise. Let's try to do that. So I'm going to the developer. I'm going to add my thing. I'm going to code for if country is equal to UK and price multiply by 1.6. And if if it's not equal to UK, then price is price. In the word properties, and I'm going to make it as a number. And the format would be let's do like that. Let's run it. Ah. Something you know. Let's check it out. Let's look. Let's, um, let's try again. So this time the price is converted over. So look, you can see that if the country is UK, the price is multiplied. Does the CA and the price is in calculate? We could add another condition if you want. So let's try to do another a set of if. So previously we have seen how to use if. Um, if if to achieve the to control the program flow or the data flow let's try to do the same thing with xxl if so if we use so xxl if is similar to if uh, but there's a slight difference so if uh, in this previous example we said if the category name is not equal to cd then do this the same thing with uh, xxl would be xxl test uh, if then c then and if it's similar but a little bit different. If you look at this count of CD, it's this format. Let's try to do the same thing. Uh, let's try to convert the ones that we did in if else into XXL. So I've replaced the uh, if, the regular if with XXL if test equal, and I put the end if as XXL if. Let's try to run it. Same same all, but if C, if it's not equal C, there's no C D shown. Similarly, for for the count is greater than four. Remember, in the previous example, we we typed in the if condition directly. With XXL if you need to have a, a form form field. So uh, I put the same condition in XXL test equal, and let's run it. 
that's greater than 4. So if only the one of the five elements are showing up. Let's do one more example. In this case, we, we converted it from XXL if for the country equal UK, then price multiplied by XXL if. Notice the end if difference. And let's run it. The same um, output. So you can use the another method is XDOFX if. In this case, uh, we are going to have the, the the condition and everything else within the same uh, element, same same um, begin and end brackets. So the sample example would be X D F X if country equal U K then price multiplied by else uh, pricing. Let's try to do that in uh, in Excel or template. So let's look at the price. So I'm going to say X D O F X if country equal U K. Then price multiplied by 12, else price, and if. Let's run it. So similar, same output, but only a different syntax. So all these templates I have uh, if there, and uh, I have a header, header region. Of course, header region is an if, else, but if, else, if condition, if one of those. This condition will satisfy. So you can download it and uh, play with it. The next exercise we are going to do will be with choose. Choose is similar to case if you are in a, in a uh, in any other programming development, programming uh, uh, any other programming language. So in this example where we, we say we okay, country equal UK, then price multiplied by the country is equal to Canada, then price multiplied by nine, else price. So we can use choose for it. So the syntax is choose, then choose. Uh, so when we have country equal UK, then price multiplied by 1.6, and when, then the next one condition, at the end, the default is otherwise, price, and otherwise. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's try to do it in the template. So it's the same template. I just change the choose, uh, condition to choose. So when country equal UK, price multiplied by 1.6. So we have uh, now we have included Canada too. Let's try to run it. can see the price. Um, now, we, now the Canada price is converted, then the UK price is converted. So now the next question is what happens if you ran out of space here? Uh, definitely there is a limit on how many characters you can put in. Um, if, if the, I mean, in, in this, at this point, um, I would assume that if there is more conditions here, you can uh, modify it in the SQL statement, uh, you know, uh, then get the converted price over. Or you can directly type it in into the box. Which it looks the, uh, the format, you know, then it messes up the format, then you have to take care of the formatting. And uh, the template may look a little bit ugly, but it, perp it, it does the same purpose though. So it works in the same way. Then you have to take care of the formatting by yourself. Uh, fi finally, I, I just want to show the template. The templates have um, all the different if. So you can see there's a hydro region. Bring what you want to test first about the hydro region. Then you can uh, uh, run run with uh, test. So let's go back to our final review. So it, in this uh, exercise, we looked at different uh, if else conditions. The first if was if the condition then ended. So in this example, if the count of uh, root element CD is greater than 4, then uh, conditions end if. Second was the XXL version of it. XXL if test equal condition end if. Then we have XDO if. Um, if the country is equal to UK, then price holds price. Finally, we had a choose uh, where we specified the conditions like the case, then we specified when conditions and finally the another, which is the default condition. So that concludes this chapter. Please feel free to download the templates and play with this and get familiarized with it. Thank you.